Good afternoon, YouTube. Apparently, this house was torn down recently it's after it was getting ready to cave in, and this house next door, part of their roof was damaged in their paint. Because apparently, the demolition company, Jurgens Construction, had two had two backhoes out here, and they watched part of the damage fall on the roof, and I don't know really why they had two of them out here to begin with. So a little bit of that yellow house was damaged right here. It don't look like this side was damaged. It looked like it was on the other side, so I really don't know why or why they could not keep the site clean for it, but obviously the construction company is going to be held liable for it. I, I did not even know that they were even tearing this down because apparently I was told the house was caving in and yet was endangering the other houses right here. So there, there, there really hasn't been too many demolitions in the city this year to my knowledge as they claim the funding is dried up and you guys have heard me rant over and over again about it the funding is there they're just wasting it so this is what's left of the job site in the foundation of the house right here so and given the fact that this is a friday and the demolition crews probably you're not going to work the weekend this mess will sit here for to at least monday and tuesday because monday will be the day that they're going to uh they're going to haul they they haul away the debris because i know when they tore down the house next to me it took them three days the first day to tear down second day haul away the debris the third day is when they fill it in with dirt and basically forget about it so so it's kind of disappointing to hear about you know this damage apparently they didn't destroy the foundation of this yet so she watched them fall on this and this house next door was just freshly painted and you could see where the damage to some of the roof was right here where some of the debris fell fell right there so this house is a little bit damaged they better be willing to cover some of the damage that's taking place on it. I, it's kind of interesting because when I, Jorgens Construction, which they're the ones that tore down the house next to me last year, they actually did a pretty good job of it. So, but I know sometimes demolition crews, you know, when you're handling big equipment, excavation equipment, so I really don't know why it could not handle it more safely because there should have been enough clearance to have handled it I don't but anyway uh, I haven't really been making too many East Dayton videos but I seen this but I seen the construction excavator out here that got me curious as to what was going on here because as I said already you know there really has not been that many demolitions that I've seen in the area. There's still tons and tons of burned out houses that are just sitting around, just one big mess. But anyway, that's it for this one.